Hello everyone and now welcome to game 2 between Lucille, Emol, Lucifer, and Az. Orc Night Elf versus Undead Night Elf in this series as the game does continue. Um, hold on one moment. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the game started once again. It is going to be blue versus, uh, or sorry, light blue versus red. Here Lucifer spawning as the light blue Night Elf. Meanwhile we have Az spawning as, as spawning as the light blue undead. Now... Game 1, the strategy was really Priestess of the Moon, True Shot Aura, and a whole bunch of creep, creep Fiends, plus early, early pressure. That did work out fairly well. I'm sure if we could see gold being transferred, Lucifer was just then dumping his money into Az, thereby giving a, a significant economic advantage to Az, being able to tech, get up to those Obsidian statues, and rather quickly, faster than I would have thought normally possible, if it weren't for a 2v2 game. Now, Crip, Graveyard, Ziggurat, Altar of Darkness. Still don't agree with the Altar of Darkness being placed down that early. Um, I, I guess then again, if your Acolyte is away, why not just summon it already? We can see Ancient of War now being placed down and Lucifer is going to be in trouble. This is a pure counter build to what exactly happened in Game 1. Now, if you guys don't know, a lot of times... Uh, Night Elf players will give their starting lumber to the undead player so that they can build more tech buildings. Now, because he gave the starting lumber over, you're now going to see this Ancient of War here, which will be able to attack Lucifer's buildings. This is going to be a huge, huge, huge um, advantage as the Ancient of War could just um, come down here root itself and then just start beating up on this entangled gold mine the wisp will then be forced to just repair it and that is going to be a wisp and lost you can now see the ancient of war is coming in and emal coming in with a very very um i guess stronger strategy will it be able to pay off that is the question one question i didn't understand as a motorcycle drives by is why did ancient of war wasn't placed down here all right already uprooting himself now making his way over now gonna go ahead and eat a tree you can see that the ancient of war does move rather slowly as the ancient of war down over here at 930 or 900 and what 29 hit points trying to make its way over and will it be able to actually do any damage now the problem for the ancient of war is that he's only at 968 damage and something as we are going to be going into double heroes so the blade master now going to be coming in inside this d and, and in addition to this demon hunter so this could be a huge huge advantage as the grunts and the blade masters are already engaging all right, where is this Ancient of War going to go? That is a question. The Ancient of War should not really be going up. No, going to try to take down the Tree of Life. This is a huge, huge, huge play as the Wisp now need to perhaps head out of here and come in. The um, Ancient of War needs to uproot here. This is going to be a lot of damage as the Blade Master now making its way over. And a lot of damage still being had. Ancient of War still regenerating hit points as they are all just trying to focus down this Tree of Life. Ancient of War, remember, has normal attack. So it is able to deal a lot of damage to this Tree of Life, unlike the Blade Master and this Demon Hunter. So the Blade Master and the Demon Hunter are really just going after the Wisp, and they're going after the weakest link constantly. Grunt, Blade Master now may be able to go after the um, Priestess of the Moon. Priestess of the Moon, Lucifer is going to Shadow Meld in time. Dust of Appearance, Lucifer going to lose his Priestess of the Moon very early on. And this is going to hurt. Blade Master perhaps should be coming back over trying to take down these wisps as we are now going to be going into a scroll of town portal to head home. As is going to be in a bit of a surprise here as it lands and the grunts are going to engage. There's a mana burn now on that Death Knight. Death Knight losing 50 mana. Is it going to be able to get off another Death Coil is a key, key question. There is a Death Coil saving that ancient, or sorry, not the ancient, the Crypt Fiend there as a Grunt now low on hit point tries to get away. That Grunt now down to 34 hit points. Is it going to be, is it going to get shot down? It looks like it will. Down it goes, but there is a second mana burn once more as the Ancient of War is now rooted and is going to be attacking against that Tree of Life. The Ancient of War rooted does have fortified armor, meaning that I believe it does take less damage, but I don't know if it really applies to normal attacks as the Wisp are now coming over. Priest of the Moon is once again back out. Death Knight now trying to do a little bit of creeping. It's going to get to level 2 with Unholy Aura. And the Blade Master, oh, is he going to be able to finish off these Wisps? Is he able to finish off? This is going to be really, really bad as the Blade Master sitting at, what, 77 hit points will need to retreat here. This Ancient of War taking less damage from the Priestess of the Moon since it is currently rooted. And now we'll see perhaps this Voodoo Lounge will get utilized. 
and the players will try to come back in once again. All right. Ancient of War dealing a lot of damage here. The Entangled Gold Mine, you can see Lucifer has lost a lot of Wisp, and that means that he is not able to harvest nearly as much lumber and without that much lumber he's going to be severely limited in terms of huntresses as the units are now backing away again all right what's coming back down over here it looks like the blade master is going to be leading an army of grunts inside this base the tree of life already sitting at 28 over 30 the blade master oh moonwell now taking a bit of damage and or moonwell now being placed down Sorry, that Wisp had taken a little bit of damage. And now we're going to see... Oh, it looks like the Wisp will get taken down here. And the Grunts are coming back in again. Lucifer unable to um, stop training. Or no, going to try to continue to train as the Grunts are going after Wisp. Wisp may fall. And if these Wisps fall, once again, the Priest of the Moon is back. Where is the rest of the Red Army? Not quite sure why he's trying to engage here by himself. This is not a smart call by any means as the both sides are still engaging a grunt now low on hit points is going to escape blade master is still going up against the priestess of the moon we are going to see the demon hunter now with a panda come out and there's a quick detonation so the uh, what the demon hunter and the panda unable to really do much there all right blade master now slipping away you can see the death knight getting very very close to level three trying to level up if the death knight can get to level three and perhaps actually utilize those death coils it may give him the advantage but i believe he's forgetting about that demon hunter the demon hunter is just going to shut down all of that mana pretty much and that is going to be a huge huge swing as we now see true shot or a drunken haze on the priestess of the moon and all of these huntresses as the units are not trying to run away you can see that the demon hunter trying to back away will use a healing salve in just a moment scroll of town portal now utilized as well as both sides are still fighting it out, you can see all the units are backed off here. It looks like one Ogre Warrior will fall. The Demon Hunter now looking to perhaps get up to level 2. No, going to perhaps try to engage here. If he can get to level 2, that is going to be a huge, huge advantage for them. As they are trying to heal up again and perhaps place down pressure. Lucifer regenerating some hit points rather slowly on that... Tree of Eternity, Blade Master is still coming in. Level 2 on the Blade Master, level 2 on the Demon Hunter. Panda sitting at level 1, doesn't have that much mana. Mana Shadow Hunter sitting at level 1. Clarity Potion, there's the Dust of Appearance. The Blade Master could be in a little bit of trouble. No healing wave um, or even a hex at this point. Not quite sure what's being utilized as the Blade Master now trying to get away. The Blade Master, very low on hit points, does utilize that Wind Walk and now able to get away here. Is it going to take that damage from that Crypt Fiend? No, it does not. Still able to repair, heal itself a little bit more. Now, it looks as though Lucifer trying to come in. It is a 3-1-1 hero combination versus, I believe, a 2-2-1-1 combination. Now, the barracks looks like it will get taken down. Raiders are trying to come out. Who is going to come out on top as the Blade Master, Grunts, and Shadow Hunter looking to come in? All right, there is some attacks coming in. Both sides are going to be engaging. There's a drunken haze shutting down many of these huntresses they're going to be moving slower and also missing their attack so the panda opting to go oh the blade master survives at 22 hit points down to a 12 no it gets taken out again as emol and emol excuse me emol and where is emol emol and lucille not doing all too well all right let's see what's going to be fighting on we can see Crypt Fiends continuing this push here. A brilliant, brilliant counter, counter strategy. The Death Knight now seen at level 3. Panda goes down at level 2. Drag a Demon Hunter now pulling back. Shadow Hunter sitting at level 2 as well. We are still trying to find a good engagement. And now with Ensnare, perhaps um, a hit and run tactics will be much better for Lucille. Attacks now coming in. Perhaps the Orc Burrow should be repaired. Um, it definitely should have been repaired. Not quite sure why it wasn't. As we now have a Wind Rider. What is this? A Wind Rider? I do not know if the Crypt Fiends have web yet. And if they do not have web, then the Wind Rider should be able to get off a lot of shots on those Huntresses. The Huntresses, very weak to Wind Riders. As you see, another Huntress is going to get taken down here. Um, some slow poison damage as well. Another Huntress gets taken down. And this could be bad. Priestess of the Moon now getting up to level 2. As we now see some burrowing coming in from Aziz Crypt Fiends. Alright. Ghoul now still coming in. We can see the Obsidian Statue is in play. Demon Hunter. We are getting up a new... Uh, the Resurrected Blade Master in just a second. And the Orc Burrow is now unloading the try and go ahead and repair. Unable to do so. Lucille currently supply block 34 over 30. 
And what's going to be happening as the Huntresses are going down, the Dryads really causing problems for those Huntresses. As now the Blade Master is out. It looks as though Lucille, Lucifer might end up losing another Huntress here. And these are not good engagements. The Blade Master um, really sticking alive and staying alive very, very long. The Blade Master is currently revealed by that Dust of Appearance. And Frost Nova, Blade Master gets taken out once more. Level 4 now on the Death Knight. As the Death Knight now has level 2 um, Unholy Aura, I believe. Yes, level 2. No, level 1 Unholy Aura. I believe he does have Death Pack instead. And the Demon Hunter really has nowhere to go. Staff of Preservation trying to keep units alive. And so far, units are just constantly falling. Lucifer does have double Sentinels here. And what is going to be happening as the Red Army is teleporting away. And now back home. Perhaps going to get rehealed and try to come back in and defend his partner's base. Another Orc Burrow will fall. We are now at 30 over 20. Will be supply blocked for a much, much longer time. As an Ensnare, now going to catch a Obsidian Statue in transit. This could be a bit of a problem. Obsidian Statue now down to 436 some odd hit points. Why isn't the Shadow Hunter joining in on the fight? That is one thing I don't quite get. As the units are going to try to engage, there is another Ensnare coming in. And so far, both sides still fighting it out. There's a Manor Burn, Death Coil, Frost Nova, Demon Hunter now trying to back away. It looks as though, yes, there will be a heal, healing up a Raider just a little bit more. And now Drunken Haze cast across multiple Crypt Fiends. Both sides still fighting and battling it out as the Demon Hunter now gets Frost Nova again. Does have a potion of healing, another healing wave coming in. And the Shadow Hunter being able to cast so many healing waves may tip the battle in favor of the red team. So far, it looks as though the Blade Master now trying to get up a little bit ahead. There's, uh, I believe, a th three to four hero advantage. No yeah, there's only two or three heroes here compared to three heroes. Both sides, total levels, maybe about four. I'm trying to do the math. Can't really do it as the Panda now getting closer to level three. Obsidian Statue now goes down as is going to be in a little bit of trouble as Emil once or Imal once again does a Staff of Preservation to save, and another Obsidian Statue goes down, a Crypt Fiend goes down, and this may be the breaking point. Emal and Lucille may have enough here, and Lucille does say GG as things swing in favor of Lucille and, and Lucille and Emal Lucifer losing that um, game there, scoring lower as trying to do it, trying to do it all himself, unable to. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for game three in this series.